I mean the school year. Today we're just talking about solving inequalities with addition and subtraction. We already know how to solve an equation. We're all pretty good at it by now. I am. Solving inequalities is the same. You solve it the exact same way. So what's the difference? I'll show An inequality is when we're talking about greater than, less than. This is greater than. This is less than. What about equal to? This is called greater than or equal to. The little line under it, it means something is greater than or equal to that number. Yeah, right there. And then we have less than or equal to. And then this means not equal to. If I'm sure you've seen greater than and less than, may not have seen the greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So obviously we all know that I could say 5 is greater than 3, right? Okay, but sometimes you have a variable. If it says x is less than 3, the solution to this is whatever x could be. So if x is greater than 3, could x be 1? I'm sorry, I meant to say uh, this says x is less than 3. If x is less than 3, could x be 1? Yes. yes. Could it be negative 7.3? Yes. Yes. Could it be 9.004? It could be No. Why? Because it has to be less than 3, and I said 9. Okay, could it be 0? No. Could it be 3? No. No, because it has to be less than 3. Okay, and then we graph this to show what I am talking about. So to graph this, I'm going to show you a real easy way to do it. Instead of writing off the whole number line, just draw a line. Okay. Because it's just greater than and it does not include 3, you're going to draw an open circle. You're going to write 3. And then which way is less than, left or right? Left. Left. So you're going to shade to the left. So this is telling me that everything that is shaded is what x could be. So x could be all of this that's shaded. And then you have your arrow because we don't want to keep, it can keep going. It could equal negative 100. It could equal negative 100, right, because it's less than 3. Okay. Now, if I said x is greater than or equal to 4, could x be 4? Yes, because this time I'm saying it could be 4 or greater than 4. So this time when I'm graphing it, I'm going to color in the circle. 
because it's including four this time. So like this circle shaded, and then which way am I going to shade, right or left? Right. Right, because it's greater than. We're shading what's greater than four. Okay, so the shading is really telling what x, what the answer is, what x could be. So that's all we're going to do? Okay. What if it's turned around here? Sometimes this gets confusing. Here's what I'm going to tell you. It says 2 is less than x. So what could x be? 3. X could be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. X is really greater than. If you want to, because sometimes it's easier to read it with the variable first, you've got to flip the entire thing around. So it would say X is greater than 2. Sometimes it's easier for people to see it when the variable's first. Or just read it backwards. X is greater than 2. So when you graph it, it's not, it's an open circle with the two, then I'm shading everything greater than that. Okay, does that make sense? When you're shade, all, all you need to know is how to graph it and how to, basically how to read the inequality to understand what it means and how to graph it. Okay, so now if I do x plus 3 is greater than negative 2. I need to find what x could be. Is it 3x? Okay. So you're going to solve this the same way you would solve x plus 3 equals negative 2. You're going to solve it the exact same way. So how do, how do I solve that equation? Okay, add negative 3 to both sides. Negative 5. So x is greater than negative 5. Graph it, open circle, negative 5, and it's greater than. So I solve this the exact same way. If you need to still draw the line there, go ahead and draw the line. Help you see the different sides. You're, graph, you're solving it the exact same way. There's nothing different in the solving process. How about <coughs> x minus 3 is less than 5? What do I have to do before I can solve? Give me a Change this to plus negative 3, good. So the opposite of negative 3 is 3. So I'm adding positive 3 to both sides. So x is less than 8. Graph it, open circle, 8, and it's less than. W plus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 1. How do I solve this? Very good. And negative 2 to both sides. So W is greater than or equal to negative 3, because negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. Graph it. Colored in this time, negative 3, and it's saying greater than, so I'm shading to the right. Okay. One 
more thing before with your assignment. What if I give you a sentence and you have to write the inequality that goes with that? So for example, a bus can seat 48 students or fewer. 48 is less than. So if I have an, a variable x, what should it say? X is less than. Right, less than or equal to 48. X has to be less than or equal to 48 because it's 48 students or fewer. So it has to be less than or equal to. Here's another one. In many states, you must be at least Sixteen years old to vote to be elected to get a license, a driver's license. Ooh, what? Um, what would I would have read that one if I had X. Is it greater than or equal to? Right, greater than or equal to sixteen. You have to be 16 or older. I get those done, and you, you should get those done before you leave so that we can break down first thing tomorrow. Then tomorrow we're going to talk about left the time off. So that tomorrow we're going to talk about um, solving them with and division, which is a little bit different. Tiny, tiny bit different. Still solve them the same way, but there's one thing that you do differently. Okay. So make sure you graph them. You're going to solve it and do a quick graph on it also on each problem.
less left. Where did that come from? 